Close I don't know. Yeah, he's, this used to be a really a pretty popular spot for people to get there. Hello. 65, 56. <laughs> used to be a real popular spot for people to get their, their gas or their diesel. Mm -hmm. Then he shut down for a while. I don't know if he's... Yeah. He might be open again. Yeah, I think he's back open. Mm -hmm. I got to bring the... Uh, Yeah, I gotta bring the motorcycle here to get, get put gas in it. And the reason why I go to him is because he's a one-man operation, private. And I'd rather give the money to him than any big corporation. How about you, Miles? A small, a small, what, business? Yeah. What, what? And plus the guy lives right, he's my neighbor, so. <laughs> I feel really bad if he sees me pull into a commercial a, a, a chain gas station to get gas when he's selling gas too. I, I feel pretty bad about that one. Hey, hey buddies. They Little bit. Yeah, they got earrings. They're fashionably. They're in fashion. people working out in the fields. Where are they growing here, rice? rice yeah. yeah, this is a rice field. It takes a lot of water to grow rice, don't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Especially, uh, the weather is not good. Yeah. I mean, we've been getting rain, but during the day, man, it is hot. Very, very hot, right? Mm. The owner, the, the, the one who renovate the windows, the, the house. The oh, that's his house? house. Goat for sale. Anybody want to buy a goat? I was telling Miles one time, jokingly, I said, you know, if we didn't have the dogs, I'd get a goat. I never got to cut the grass. He goes, yeah, but I couldn't have a garden either. <laughs> <laughs> Which is true. Hey, hey pup. Oh, poor guy. I know. <laughs> Now you gotta watch, they come, don't come up behind you. <laughs> Is anybody living in that house yet? No. It's just nasty. That's a big dog. That's a big dog. Laying egg for laying uh, egg. Yep. Guy has a little chicken farm going on here. Small, but probably works. Okay. Yeah, just. Yeah, we got the rice fields. Yeah, somewhere out here, I'm not sure where, they say where a bunch of uh, Australians live. 
I'm not sure, so I'm not going to say, but... <clears throat> yeah, they have a little Australian community. <laughs> I'm not saying hundreds, it's just a handful. Yeah. So it's rice season, huh? Yeah, and then you got the corn over here. Yeah, you got yeah the pump. Yeah. This is what I like about Badak, man. You can yeah, the, the town of Badak is small, but I like it because everybody knows everybody. I mean, hell. Those people in Badak, I have no idea who they are, but they know me. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Everybody, hello. Yeah, they all sit there, hey, hey, how you doing? I'm like, okay, hey. Well, but I think, from what I have seen, I'm the only real American living in, in town and the rest are mostly Indians, ain't they? Yeah, I see I see some Indians walking around. Not American Indians, the people from India. <laughs> I wonder if there is a politically correct name for them. You know, since everything's got to be politically correct nowadays, you know, you hurt somebody's feelings. <laughs> And it's just, most of these people I've had these land, the uh, family owned land for half, centuries, right? Yeah. I just pass it down to the oldest son or the oldest daughter. From generation to generation. Yeah. Inheritance. If their mother, pass, parents pass away, there's the grandmother pass away. Yeah. Transfer, transfer. And they have their way of doing things. And you want to know something? It's been working for them for hundreds of years. And I'm pretty sure they don't want to hear somebody come in and say, well, you should do it this way or that way. They'll look at you and say, okay. <laughs> and then go about their business. People from the West have a tendency to do that, man. Come into, come into another place and... Say, well, you should do things this way, and they just look at you, man. What I've been doing, it's been working for centuries. So I learned this from my daddy, who learned it from his daddy, who learned it from his daddy. So. Now, how do they usually do it? Okay, say if they have a couple of hectares of land, mm -hmm. okay? Do they, like, figure out how much they're going to grow for themselves and how much they're going to sell? Or is that the same they routine? Know. They, they they calculate already how how much they are going to to save for their themselves. Okay, so in a guesstimate, guesstimate. How many 
How many kilos per year do you think that they keep for themselves? I don't know. If it depends on the size of the family? What I learned to my uncle before is to just, just save 15, 15 sacks. We are only three eating. Not, not rice, uh, rice grain. Not, not, not yet milk. Oh, 15. Okay. 15 sacks. And then can, it's, it's still For a year because we are only three. Yeah. So 15 sacks of unmilled rice, how many how many kilos is that when it's milled? Or how many sacks would that be when it's milled? I know it's it's not as much it's not 15 sacks of milled rice, is it? Isn't it half? Usually about half? About seven sacks. Usually. Seven sacks. Yeah, I don't know who told me. I think Roger, uh, Robert, Robert told me. It was a, no, it was Roger. Roger told me because I asked him that question. He says, normally if you have a good season, a good cropping, a good harvest, he said, you would get, uh, he says, if you get, say, 10 sacks of unmilled, and Roger was a very, very, Ronald, is it Ron Ronald? Ronald. Why keep him messing up? Ronald, I'm sorry, Ronald. Very, very smart man. Very, very intelligent man. He passed away a few years ago. But uh, he told me if you have a good harvest season and your, and your crop does well, he goes, and you, he goes, one, one sack, which is usually 50 kilos of unhar un milled, un un unmilled rice is usually when you when you're done milling it, that's about 25 kilos of rice. Two is to one. Huh? Two unmilled is to one. Yes. One mil. Yes. And let me get behind you. I don't want to get hit. <laughs> so, yeah, no. He was a very, very smart business businessman, and he knew he had a, he had a bunch of things going on. He was selling pigs that he was making a profit. He was selling chickens that he was making a profit, Duck. and he was selling ducks that he was making a profit. How are they doing now since he passed away? I have no idea. Well, we're gonna start heading back to the house. It's only eight o'clock, going on 8.05. That's sun, man, it's always hot, beating down on us. So, I follow Miles' lead. She turned around, I turn around. <laughs> I don't argue. You do what the Philippines do when you're living in the Philippines. All right, Miles? Yeah, it, doesn't, it, it seems like we can't get a shade, so. Well, I'll let you all go. Hopefully you enjoyed the scenery. And if you don't want to hear my voice, just turn the volume off and just watch. <laughs> but you all have a great evening. You all have a great day. And be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And don't sweat the small stuff. Right, Miles? Yeah. All right, bye for now. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>